Hi, welcome to Wrinkle Society of Hope. Wrinkles is a platform built for women to share their stories of wrinkles that they had to press through in order to become the women they are today. Wrinkles stands for women rejoicing and nourished, courageous with a K, life encouraging stories. Women who care enough to share. I would love to do an interview with you for our Wrinkles Society page. And also, if you enjoy the story you're about to hear, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share our Wrinkles page so other people can join the Wrinkles family. Thank you for coming and I cannot wait to hear from you soon. family today I bring my god grandmother to the wrinkles family um, Rosie took me and my brother in my I didn't have my neither of my grandmothers and she loved us and she is my grandmother so introduce yourself grandma Rosie <laughs> hello I'm Rosie Coyle uh, live here in Eloy I have two children and a host of nieces, nephews, and, and uh, godchildren. And I just love Summer and, and her brother to death. As she mentioned it, she opened up the door. So yes, uh, they probably got uh, kind of mad sometimes at, at, at uh, their grandpa. But uh, if anybody knows uh, Mr. Coyle, he's going to be there and he's going to tell you the way it is. Yes, indeed. So, um, as wrinkles, I always ask the same questions. So, I'm going to start off. Well, you really don't have many wrinkles either. First, tell people your age because you look amazing. First, of, uh, yes. So, I'm, I'm uh, 76 years old. And uh, my first wrinkle, uh, Summer is so kind. But I remember when I got my first wrinkle and I thought, oh, my God. I thought. I'm getting old. Uh, I think when we're young, uh, teenagers and everything, we're go, uh, we, we feel like we're going to stay that way. But uh, life goes on and, and you do get older. Yeah. And as we talk about physical wrinkles, let's talk about emotional wrinkle that you had to press through in your life. What story is that? Oh, emotional wrinkles. Where do I begin? I tell you that that I had to press through a lot as a young as a young kid like I say I'm 76 years old so I lived through the uh, born in 44 so I lived through the 40s the 50s and the 60s anybody of the age group that I am knew, uh, knows what it was like so I had to live through uh, I was a, a small child and I had to live through the bullying people bullying, the kids bullying me. And, and uh, uh, I had to live through uh, the word, the N word. That was going on a, on a lot during those days. And sometimes if a person repeats stuff over and over and over again, calling you names, Sometimes as a child you feel like you're not worthy. Maybe you are like that. But I'm here to tell you that God put me on this earth. He has a plan and purpose for me. And through those storms, He pulled me through. Uh, it, when we're, and when we're talking about emotions, we're talking about... Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, during those years, people would say, I was going to school and I left school. And people were saying, why are you doing this? You, you're just going to uh, graduate to a cotton field. See? And these were adults telling me this. And, and I had to push through that. And I told them, I said, no. I said, I'm going to work in an office. 
always had, God had already had a plan for me. He had already positioned me at a very early age. And I said, oh no. I said, that's not for me. I said, I'm going to work in the office. And confirmation from God, uh, I'm here to say that I was the first black that worked, had an office at a cotton gin, worked in the office, and moved up to a supervisor. Wow. So you didn't go to the cotton field, you went to the cotton gin office. Uh, yes, he prepared me through the schools and, and, and I stayed on that course. I loved uh, accounting mm -hmm. and, and, and I just, he's, he kept me on that course. And I'm here to tell you also that I'm the first black that ever worked for the city of Eloy. And, and I uh, worked there for 28 years of which uh, I retired uh, in 2008. And uh, during my tenure there, I also was moved up to an office manager. So, uh, there is a lesson to be said, and I believe uh, uh, Miss, Miss Summer will be asking me that if I had a t-shirt. Uh, I want you to know that never give up on your dream. Mm, I love it. I love it. Now, on another emotional uh, thing that I had to press through, uh, the doctor, when I had my first son, uh, I have my my I have two children, and when I heard had the first one a son, the doctor told my mother I never have any more children because I was too small frame to hold that and push those children through. But God, but God, I had uh, my second child through God's mercy and grace. And it did not kill me like the doctor said it would. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So those are some powerful wrinkles, um, especially what we're going through right now. Amen. Um, so the little girl back then that had to go through so much and, and people telling her she couldn't do it. Right, right. What would you tell her today, knowing everything that you've been through for 76 years? What would you tell her? today if you had the opportunity if uh, somebody is there whispering in your ear laughing at you telling you can't do it even the adults that supposed to support you and not bring you down and and even today there are, are, are adult people out there that might do the same thing for whatever reason. Do not listen to that. I'm here to tell you to don't give up. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want to be, you press towards that mark. And you keep your faith because let me tell you, you have to have God to move forward mm -hmm. and continue on mm -hmm. and he'll bring you up to your desires of your heart. I love it. So your t-shirt, is it going to say don't give up or is it going to be, the t-shirt is a, a reflection of who you are today. Right. So if you walked in a room and you had a t-shirt with a phrase or a word, they say, oh, that's Mother Coyle. Uh-huh. That's what we, you're the mother of the church now. Right, right. So what would that shirt say? And that shirt would definitely say, don't give up. Don't give up. Fight the fight. Awesome, awesome. Amen. Thank you so much, Wrinkles family. Thank you for coming and being a part of our women's um, encouragement, because it's definitely encouragement to hear as far as you come, you, you made your dreams come true because you pressed through. And that is a gift for yes. us to see that you're still standing, smiling, with barely wrinkles on your face. <laughs> and so, thank you so much. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> thank you.